This is Okuizumo Orochi, the glassless trolley-like sightseeing train operated by JR West. In operation since 1998, this popular train welcomes approximately 15,000 passengers per year. It runs on the Kisuki Line between Shimane and Hiroshima prefectures. The train's popularity is due to the line's two switchbacks, which assist the train in climbing 170 meters. Switchbacks are used on steep climbs. Instead of climbing directly up the slope, the train winds from one side of the slope's face to the other. At the top of the climb, the train heads for Miyunohara Station, JR West's highest point, 726 meters above sea level. The view from the train is so spectacular, it's called the Moving Observatory. Entering Hiroshima Prefecture, Okuizumu Orochi arrives at the terminal station. The usually deserted station becomes crowded for a short time as the passengers disembark. However, despite the popularity of the sightseeing train, the population along the line continues to decline while the company's deficit increases. Furthermore, it's been announced that it will cease operation in 2023 due to its age, calling into question the continued existence of the line. In today's program, we take a look at the current state of loss-making local lines in rural areas operating under severe business conditions. In April 2022, JR West announced the financial status of 30 sections of 17 lines with a transport density of less than 2,000 passengers, which indicates the average number of passengers carried per day. Of those 30 sections, the three worst in terms of income expense ratio were one section of the Kisuki line and two sections of the Gabi line, both of which run in Hiroshima Prefecture. The Chugoku region, located in western Japan, consists of five prefectures, including Hiroshima. Okayama, Hiroshima, and Yamaguchi prefectures, all major urban areas, are located on the southern coast, with the Sanyul Shinkansen running between them. The mountainous area to the north, however, is sparsely populated. One of the lines that runs in the mountains is the Kiski Line, on which the Okuizumo Orochi sightseeing train operates. The Kiski Line runs between Hiroshima Prefecture and Shimane Prefecture. Until the late 1960s, the line was used for the mass transportation of passengers and freight. However, with the declining population and the progress of motorization, the Kiski Line's passenger numbers have dwindled. Now the line is in danger of closing.
The section of the Kiski line ranked second worst according to JR West's income expense ratio cost 6,596 yen to make just 100 yen. This Kiski line station averages just two passengers a day. Excluding sightseeing trains, a total of six trains a day, running up and down, stop at this station. The first and third worst sections in terms of income and expenditure belong to the Gaby Line, which connects to the Kiski Line. The approximately 159-kilometer Gaby Line connects Hiroshima Prefecture and Okayama Prefecture. Starting at Hiroshima Station, the Gaby Line runs commuter and rapid services from the city to the nearby suburbs. However, as the train enters the mountains beyond that point, passenger numbers decline, and the service is reduced to single-car trains which run less frequently. For the section with the worst income expense ratio, it costs 25,416 yen to make just 100 yen. JR West has stated that it would be desirable to establish a council with the national government and local governments along the line to oversee the sections where the shortfall of revenue is most severe. Well, ま、Ooh, this looks serious. So these were two of the most struggling railways under JO West. And what really surprised me on the Gaby line, one section, it cost 20,000 yen to earn 100 yen. Yes, but that's only part of the Gaby line. And Gaby line itself is a really long railway, and it reaches the big city of Hiroshima on one end. And there, the Gaby line is actually part of the urban network. But uh, of course, there is uh, another end which is on the rural side, and also uh, there is the Kiski line. And the problem we see there is actually something that is common to many different parts of Japan, where the population declines, the ridership declines, and then uh, the railway operator starts to reduce the number of trains per day, and then uh, more people will choose not to go by rail, and the vicious cycle continues. Yeah. The tourist train we saw at the start of the Kiski Line, that one looked really fun and popular. Is that not enough? Well, it certainly helps, but uh, in the current situation, I see it's not enough. Mm. And, well, one way for a railway like this to survive is to make the railway uh, a sort of tourist-only railway. And there are examples uh, within Japan. but. Uh, in order for the Kiski line to be successful uh, in that direction, I think people should uh, try really, really hard to, you know, advertise the charm of the Kiski line to a wider uh, audience uh, across Japan. Mm, advertise the charm. Let's find out how local governments and local residents are working hard to keep their railway. At Kiski Line's Bingo Ochiai Station, where the sightseeing train turns back, a man wearing a uniform can be seen cleaning the station. Mr. Nagahashi Norio worked as a driver for the former Japanese National Railways and JR West. Since 2017, he has worked as a volunteer guide. Have 
Having known this station since childhood, Mr. Nagahashi has a strong desire to protect his hometown railway. ジョンガシトクタ、シェンドウね、ナクスワクルカンタイね、思いが強いから、自分の生まれ故郷のこの貧乏地帯含めて、ナクスワクにカンタイね、思いで私の続く限り身の続く限りね、こっちで語り続け
taxis stop at the homes of residents who've reserved rides at the same time. The shared taxis take them to and from designated JR stations, bus stops, medical facilities, and other locations around the community. This experimental operation is run by a local taxi company using city-owned vehicles. The 300 yen per person fare paid by the user is income collected by the city. その Nimi City is preparing to roll out a full-scale taxi-sharing operation beginning this fall. This train was made possible by local residents who live along the Gaby Line. The new train color is bright red. To encourage more people to use the Gaby Line, it's been wrapped with images that represent the Carp Baseball Team, a professional team from Hiroshima Prefecture. Red is the team color. This is Mr. Sumida Norio, a member of the residence group that launched the train wrapping project. Born and raised in Shobara City, he has used the Gaby Line since childhood. But in recent years, he'd seen how the Gaby Line had fallen into decline and felt a sense of urgency. The estimated cost to wrap the train was approximately 3 million yen. To raise the money, Mr. Sumida and his group organized a fundraising campaign in Shobara City. The group's activities gained the attention of local TV and newspapers. Seeing this, the student council of a high school in Hiroshima City offered to donate money as well. JR more than 3 million yen in donations was raised in just two months. In November 2021, the CARP train began operation. On its first day, many people came from both inside and outside the prefecture, filling the usually empty train car. In March 2023, Mr. Sumida and his group organized a tour, inviting local junior high school and high school students, as well as students from the high school in Hiroshima City that helped raise funds for the project to ride the RAP train. ゲビセンツすごいんだよって伝えたいと思います。ゲビセンっていうものに対してあの随分まあ関心は持っていただけだと思うんですね。だからこれがじゃあ乗車につながるのかっていうのがね一番そこは一番。
The RAP train, made possible by the enthusiasm of residents living along the line, will run until December this year. Four high schools in the city are also working to keep the railway alive. Because the railway is an essential means of transportation to and from school. As part of the school curriculum, students at Saijo Shisui Senior High School clean the facilities they use on a daily basis. They also clean the waiting room and restrooms at Bingo Saijo Station, the closest station to the high school. <laughs> On this day, they are painting the walls of the station building. <laughs> え、It's wonderful to see the local government and the local residents are working together to support their railway, mm. especially seeing the students cleaning and painting the stations that was really moving. Mm. But I'm wondering, with the declining population, will it make a difference? Well, I think it certainly makes a difference because, you know, uh, this kind of move will make people involved in a problem. And if they're not um, getting involved in that, then uh, the problem will never be solved. You know, it's their problem, and they should be in the front line of the uh, solution of the problem. So, so this, I think, is really important. Next up is Tourist Trains in Style, where we introduce exciting tourist trains from all around Japan. Eto Setora is a sightseeing train operated by JR West. The blue and white livery features a motif that depicts the sea and waves of the Seto Inland Sea, located on the southern coast of Hiroshima Prefecture, where the train runs. Eto Setora debuted in October 2020 as part of the campaign Hiroshima Prefecture and JR West created to attract tourists to the coast of the Seto Inland Sea. The Seto Uchi region consists of the Seto Inland Sea and its coastline, which stretches between the Chugoku region and Shikoku on the opposite coast. The name Eto Setora is a combination of Eto, a word in the Hiroshima dialect that means a lot, and Seto. It's hoped that passengers feel the many charms of the Seto Uchi region while on board. It takes three hours to travel the 105 kilometers from Hiroshima Station along the coast to Onomichi Station, where the beautiful Seto Inland Sea can be seen. The morning outbound trip departs from Hiroshima. The afternoon return trip departs from Onomichi. The two-car train, which can carry up to 40 passengers, is reservation only. The seats are available in a variety of arrangements, including box seats for two or four persons and counter seats facing the sea. The attendants and conductors make announcements, providing information about different spots along the line. Thank you. 
牡蠣の生産量は全国1位ですこの先瀬戸内と島島とそれを囲むような牡蠣柄の風景をお楽しみください The train slows down on sections that run by the sea, occasionally stopping at view spots along the way. The round windows resemble the windows of the cruise ships that sail on the Seto Inland Sea. Passengers feel as if they are running on the sea. And if you make your reservation in advance, you can enjoy sweets made by confectioners and patissiers in Hiroshima Prefecture on the outbound journey. In addition, on the return trip from Onomichi, this bar counter sells a variety of drinks and snacks unique to Hiroshima. This is an original cocktail made with gin and citrus jam produced along the line. On the return trip, you can also reserve and purchase sweets such as chocolates that go well with the alcoholic beverages, as well as strawberry and lemon flavored petite tarts. Eto Setora is a train that allows passengers to enjoy a variety of the Seto Uchi region's charms. It operates one round trip per day, mainly on Fridays through Mondays and holidays. Eto Setora, that's some beautiful play on words in the branding right there. But what is also beautiful is the view, that really nice looking bar counter, and then the sweets, they look delicious. Mm. And one interesting feature of this Eto Setora train is that passengers can hop on, hop off, at any pair of stations that the train is calling at, which means the passengers can enjoy more freedom on the train. And that freedom is going to come in handy because there's so many historical spots along the line. So that's going to make for a wonderful journey.